Welcome to the final episode of this season's Wind Down. Today, we are joined by the incredible Amanda Seals, who plays <laughs> Tiffany. She'll be helping us break down tonight's episode, Low Key Law. A huge part of the episode is dealing with needing to find Tiffany. Why do you guys feel it was important for us to sort of tackle Tiffany's storyline evolving around uh, postpartum depression? We wanted to depict this because, you know, it's commonplace and we wanted to show this, this struggle and it just felt like this was the natural opportunity to, to showcase this. And Tiffany's the only mother, the only married one out of our group of friends and she already started to feel isolated in a way and so unfortunately this, this just added to her burden. I think Tiff had also kind of like solidified herself as like the strong one. Yeah. Like even though she'll allude to like things with Derek, yeah. it's never like being put in her girl's laps. And so I think that also just reflects the realities of like, we know how to have a strong mind, but not necessarily a healthy mind. Right. Um, so we know how to muscle through and like, that's not gonna break me and that's not gonna hurt me. Like, but it's like, okay, but are you really dealing with it? Right. Or are you just like suppressing sadness? But that's that character, right? She set this, she set she these set things, this yes. grid up. Yes. Like my hair is gonna be together. Yes. Yes. My I even made like a conscious decision to over the course of the season, like let my nails be less done. Mm. Um, so that by the end, like she doesn't even have a manicure, which for Tiffany, that's oh. like, you've never seen Tiffany without this happening. But like, I think a lot of women can relate to like something that mine are actually being very indicative of like them falling apart, right? Yeah. Because a lot of times it'd be those little things yeah. that you just know yeah. are like, oh, she's together. And I think that was another factor too, because yes, Tiffany is going through this thing, but we also wanted it to serve as a metaphor for her actual friends missing out. Like her actual yeah. friends aren't noticing that right. she's yes. falling apart. Right. And that is also indicative of the friendship that they yeah. have with each other. They're not mm. seeing one another. Yeah. Um, who was in it though? Derek. Derek. Derek, Derek. Derek was in Derek it. Was down. <laughs> Derek was he down. He was in it. That's what's great, I think, at the door when you guys have that moment together where you've never let Derek see the other side yeah. of that, right? And I think even not wanting to answer the door, right? How do I face this man who I typically am together for? I don't want him to really see me like this because what does that mean? You know, how will he see me now going forward? It still gives me chills thinking about it because it was so real about a husband and wife who do need to see each other, but it's it's scary. And you know why else it gives you chills? What is it? Because that was acting, baby. Acting. <laughs> Um, you know, one of the things we discussed in the room was from a very early standpoint was wanting to tackle this topic for Tiffany this year. So I would love to talk about how postpartum depression is rarely really portrayed accurately on TV, and especially with black women. When it is portrayed, it's, <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> it's I can't like, take this. I can't take this. <laughs> you know, it's being acted to the back of the room, right. not to the camera. It's so. not nuanced. We talked about that a lot in the room. I mean, I remember to a point that we were talking about debating, like, what's the most real version of what she would be wearing, how you would find her, what she would do, has she eaten? I mean, we got very meticulous about this because we wanted it to feel very real. Yeah, you talked about your nails. Yes. What else did you do to prepare for Tiffany's postpartum? I mean, I think the hardest thing was going to be just figuring out an authentic place to tap into that could get me to the same feeling of emptiness and confusion that you would be at if this was, you know, your actual reality. Speaking okay. of pregnancies, okay. <laughs> there's, a, there's a big drop at the end of this episode <laughs> of Lawrence getting Condola pregnant. How do you think Issa feels about that and she and Lawrence's relationship possibly moving forward? This taints him in a very real way. And I say that mm -hmm. to me, if I'm interested in a man and he has a child with, with someone else, mm -hmm. I think it robs you of that moment. Mm. And that's my mind. I feel like they've lost a milestone in the season two finale. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Like when she pictures yeah. getting back with Lawrence, yeah. having a baby together is the first thing. So now she don't got the first born. She doesn't have the first born. He's sharing that moment with someone else, someone who he's not with. And they had just recommitted. So there's things to discuss, like yeah. how active he wants to be in it in this child's life. If he's not active, then he's kind of not shit. Yeah. Right. So he has what to be. He has yeah. to be. So you're like an auntie girlfriend. If it can can Ooh. Ethan Condola be friends even? Because you, you are out. already friends. But then right after that, it. it's gonna be lit. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for joining us for the wind downs this season. We really hope you enjoy watching this season as much as we love making it. 
Cheers. Cheers is over, y'all. Cheers are risen. Cuatro.